Hello and welcome to Wigs with Liz. My name's Liz and I wear wigs and I'm just jumping on today to just show you in all its glory thin candies and dark chocolate. Now I know I don't wear lots of dark coloured wigs on the channel, probably ginger brown is sometimes as dark as I go but I have got thin candies this wig I'm wearing right now from Godiva's Secret Wigs in this gorgeous dark chocolate colour and I was really guided to wear it today and to jump on and show you the beautiful richness of this colour. So if you like dark hair and you love dark colours, dark chocolate is a great way to start. In my opinion, for my colour skin, this is as dark as I like to go. You know, there is other colours they do. They do an espresso colour. And, you know, this is probably the darkest I'll go because of my own skin tone. And I know that if I go darker, I do look a bit washed out. I remember for my 40th birthday party, I'm 46 now, I had my hair coloured, it was really long, it was down here, and I had it coloured, I wanted it really nice, deep mahogany red, and they did a botch job on me at the hairdressers, and it kind of went really black, and you know, I looked like Morticia, and I remember I was wearing this gorgeous sequin fishtail dress because I was going out somewhere nice, and I got this long, straight Morticia look, and I just felt washed out. So it's amazing how the colours we wear can bring colour to our face or take it away. So it's always good to kind of maybe put a little more powder or blusher on when you're wearing a darker colour wig too. But I kind of always keep my makeup the same, no matter what colour wig I'm wearing. So just from personal experience over the years, I know that anything darker than this probably won't suit me. You know, it may look okay to you. You may think, oh, it looks okay, but you know how it makes you feel yourself. You know, for me, wearing a wig is about feeling good and feeling like I own that wig. And, you know, I do like this colour too. It's a lot deeper than the ginger brown, even though on camera it does look quite similar. So if I just show you with the mirror, you can see the darkness of it. So you've still got that slight red tone when you're in the light, but it is more of a dark chocolate, more of a deeper brown colour. Very, very pretty wig. It is all one colour too, so you get the same colour all over. So it's very natural looking, especially if you are a natural brunette as well, or you want that kind of look. And this wig, like all of the Thin Candice wigs, come a lot longer, and they don't have a bang in. They just have a tiny little wispy bang to one side. So with this wig, I just trimmed a little bit off the length, just to make it more of a daily wig and cut this little bang in that you can wear as a full bang like that or you know what I'm doing today is just kind of wearing it a little bit over to the side just to give it a little bit of funky feel but I really do love Candice and she's such a gorgeous wig so from Godiva's Secret Wigs they do two Candices I've reviewed them both you can go to the wig review playlist right now and check them out I've done wig reviews on Candice, which is the longest style of this wig. More hair. It's like a mane of hair. It's very gorgeous. And the thin Candice of this wig, which is this one, which has less hair. So there's, they're both the same length, so you get the same length of hair. But it's a different style because with the Candice wig, you get more hair, more fullness of the wig. With the thin candies, which is this one, it's more of a sleeker effect. So, you know, you don't feel you're overwhelmed with hair. So if you love the style, but you don't want as much hair, thin candies is definitely the right option for you. And as I said, you've got the option of customising it to suit you. You know, you can do that with any wig anyway with Godiva's. I've customised many of them, cut bangs in and cut length on some. But I really do like these thin Candice wigs because they're so versatile and I own quite a few of these. And, you know, I do intend over the next few years to get many of them. You know, not just one wig either, maybe get two or three of the same wig and cut them differently. You know, I'd love to get a thin Candice wig, which I intend to do in the new year. And perhaps, you know, cut it to about there, maybe cut banging and have like a little short bob with bangs I think that would be really pretty and I know that you can buy bobs on there and you can get wigs that are ready made like that but there's something a little bit special about customising your own wig and cutting it the way you want it to be and these thin Candice wigs are just so great for that 
So just thought I'd jump on and show it to you. I'm not going to take her off and do a full wig review because I've already done a wig review on this wig. I was just really feeling it today with the red. You know, I've got my red London t-shirt on and the red earrings. And I thought, wow, she looks pretty amazing today. So I wanted to jump on and show you. So I'm just going to do a little turn for you. So you can see how she looks from the side and from the back. A very, very natural looking wig. You know, whenever I wear this wig, nobody knows it's my own, um, you know, it's not my own hair. Same with the ginger brown one. Because Candice is just so similar to how my hair used to be, you know, before I started growing out the colour and had it cut. So this was kind of how I was in the 20s and the 30s. But now in the 40s, I can be this way again and give my own hair a natural rest from chemicals and allow it to breathe and grow into what it needs to be at this time in my life because that's really what I'm being guided to do. And, you know, I'm really hoping that Godiva's Secret Wigs bring this one out in their colour. I think it's called Smoky Frost or Smoky Quartz or the new colour. They've done like a salt and pepper colour. They've got it available in the tailor wig, the tailor top and Freedom but not yet in a candy. So I would love that. So if you're watching this, Rochelle, I would love that one. But I am intending to get some custom-made colours as we move forward as well. I'd love to have this one in Irish Spice or in Chestnut. That would just be spectacular. Maybe the Brute Wig as well. So I'm going to see how I go as we move forward as well. I just wanted to jump on, show you this wig, see how good she looks, dark chocolate with red or you know, these kind of brighter coloured clothes. And now you can colour coordinate to make your wig look fabulous, to match your mood in your own style. Have a great day, sending you so much love, and I'll see you soon.